In the land of Skyrim, and pretty much everywhere else on Tamriel, you are always going to come across some ungrateful asshole, or some piece of shit who hurts everyone around them. Now, in the real world, I would never condone murder. But, when you're the Dragonborn who has touched tips with every mythical entity from Sithis to Soon Shield Thane of Shore, you can pretty much do whatever the fuck you want. Now, you saw the title of this video, you know that this is a kill list. But who exactly deserves to be 360 no scope from the top of the building using an enhanced dwarven crossbow? Well, my fellow Serana simps, I'm going to be listing who in this very video. But before I dish out these writs of executions, let me explain the criteria for these milk drinkers and Enwas. The NPCs I mention cannot be essential or part of a grander storyline like any faction quests. So, unfortunately, people like Maven Blackbriar, Ellen Wynn, Ancano, or the Civil War leaders will not be on this list. Also, this is my opinion. So, if you like any of the people on this list, you better hope you get a letter of inheritance from them before they die. Additionally, I will be refraining from mentioning people in Whiterun or Riverwood because anyone who puts those people on their kill list just doesn't know shit about Skyrim. Now, with all that being said, on with the first degree murder. First on the list is Nivenor. Now, you're probably curious why I have the wife of a fisherman on a murder list. Well, Nivenor is an asshole. Basically, she is married to a generous fisherman named Boli Honeyhand, who is devoted to Mara and tries to donate to charity and the poor whenever he can. And Nivenor is the complete fucking opposite. She constantly spends her time buying expensive jewelry and clothes and forces Boli to pay for them. Nivenor additionally hates the poor and is most likely cheating on her husband. It does sound a little psychotic, but I have a theory that if you murder this poor Bosmer in cold blood, Bully will be able to spend more of his money helping the poor and benefiting all of Riften and maybe even other parts of Skyrim. Am I insane for suggesting this? Uh, don't answer that. But luckily, there are other people on this list that deserve death better, and we will get to them right now. Mullish. Now, Mullish works for the Silverblood family in Markarth as an overseer to the smelter. His entire job is to make as much silver as possible to give to the Silverbloods for their wealth. The biggest problem with him is that he is a complete tyrant to his smelter workers, often yelling and supposedly beating them as well. Now, you can convince Mullish to stop abusing his workers on behalf of Omluag, one of the workers, but there is no evidence to suggest that he will keep his word. If you do choose to send him to Malakath, the smelter workers will probably be able to rest a lot easier and Markarth might just be a little nicer place. And I know sexy Omluag would be happier for it. Mogrul. Yes, I know, an orc twice in a row. I'm like a Breton from Daggerfall. Anyways, Mogrul is a money lender from Ravenrock in the Dragonborn DLC, and he is a bitch. This man is constantly harassing many of the shop owners around Ravenrock and is constantly guarded by his hound of a bodyguard named Slitter. Additionally, if you help the love of my life, Master Neloth, get a new steward named Drovis Relevi, Mogrul will put the debt Drovis owed him on you and demand that you give him 1,000 septums. Now, if you don't pay him like you should, he will continue to send thugs after you until you pay him or murder him. So, not only are you sparing Ravenrock from the biggest Enwa around, you're also saving yourself from a major headache. Lemkeel. Lemkeel is a farmer and father of two daughters in Rorikstead. So, why in Akatosh should you murder this man in cold blood? Well, his wife died giving birth to his daughters, and he completely blames his daughters for his wife's death. And because of this, he constantly abuses and harasses them tenaciously. Which I hope we can all agree is simply horrible. He is also very rude to everyone in town and has an extremely negative reputation. If you do kill Lem Kiel, his daughters will become orphans and be sent to Honor Hall Orphanage. Which sucks, and that's horrible, but that has to be a better ending than what they have already, right? And if you feel guilty, you can just adopt them later. I don't know if that makes you good or 
even more fucked up, but there you go. Sabeel Stentor. Sabeel Stentor is a very mysterious character because her entire motivations are called into question and appear to be devious, but let me explain. If you aren't fucking blind, you can already see in her eyes that she is a vampire. Additionally, during the Man Who Cried Wolf questline, Falk Firebeard will send you to check out a cave that ends up being run by necromancers attempting to summon Potema Wolf Queen. Before the quest starts, Sabeel claims that the cave has nothing of note and that it is just superstitious nonsense. However, after the completing the quest and killing the necromancers, she will go to her bed and sleep. Forever. She will only get up if you attempt to talk to her and then go immediately back to sleep. Additionally, even though she is a vampire, she will have a quest for you to kill some other vampires as well. However, if you've sided with Clan Volkahar in the Dawnguard DLC, you know vampire on vampire violence is not unheard of. I have put Sibyl Stentor on this kill list simply because she seems very untrustworthy, supposedly harms prisoners in unspeakable ways, as rumored by other people in the Blue Palace, and she also seems strangely tied to Potamo Wolf Queen. Whether for good or ill, we will never know. And also, she is... oh yeah, a fucking vampire. Slaughter her, and you will definitely make Isran proud. Andolomar. Andolomar is the bitch-ass Thalmor Justicar that is stationed at Markarth and oversees the banning of the worship of Telos. Elven supremacist and overall piece-of-shit person. He also has a quest to expose Ogmund the Skald for being a worshipper of Talos, which is just an awful thing because Ogmund is just a nice guy and he doesn't deserve to be imprisoned and tortured, so fucking butcher him right now. Uh, Andolomar, I mean, not Ogmund. Thonar Silverblood. Thonar Silverblood is the male and non-essential version of Maven Blackbriar. He's arrogant, and he steps on everyone who gets in his way. You could argue he's actually worse than Maven, because Thonar Silverblood actually uses the homicidal Forsworn to do his dirty work and kill off the competition. If you hate the Silverblood family as much as I do, just know that Thonar is seen as the leader of the family, so killing him will be a major blow to all those Enwas. Thonar is basically a truly corrupt bastard that probably has his own kill list, so... Why not add him to yours? And that's all I wrote. For now, at least. I may make a part two and include just a few more individuals that I believe deserve the blade because there are a lot of people in Skyrim that should be put in the ground. And again, I refuse to include anyone from Whiterun or Riverwood or from the main quests, people like Nazim or Delphine, for example, because I think that's just incredibly lazy and I've seen a lot of other people, you know, doing kill lists, so to speak where they just include those people, and I've always felt that to be so lazy, so understand that's why I didn't include people like that. And again, this is my opinion, so, you know, if I offended you by including someone you liked, you'll be getting a letter of inheritance shortly, that's all I can say. And finally, if you have enjoyed this video, make sure to like the video and like the subscribe button and like whatever, and I will see you whenever the fuck I decide to upload again. House Telvani be with you.